Today, I'm going to show you the biggest cooking tool shop of street in Osaka. There's so many interesting things that you should not miss. Let's get in there. This is a food sample shop. Almost every restaurant displays silicone made samples at the entrance. This place is not a grocery. The vegetables look so real. The apple is 99% legitimate. The details are so precise. This is a souvenir. The deep fried shrimp looks more delicious than a real one. Many sushi. Lean tuna is perfect. This salmon raw makes me feel hungry. Autumn radish suck up a lot of nice broth. These are real meals. They're expensive because how good the food sample is the key to successful restaurants. They can make good souvenirs. This place has restaurant uniforms. These are t-shirts for foreign travelers. 2500 yen is quite reasonable. Don't eat them. I would not want to use these erasers. That cat is real to bring fortune to your business. This shop has restaurant decorations. A lot of Maneki Neko Lucky Cats. This massive one is to be displayed at the entrance. Restaurant signs. It's 44,000 yen or 350 USD and one line is 3,000 yen. This shop has no rain restaurant curtains. These are for separating the dining room and restroom or kitchen. I can see Hello Kitty everywhere. This is a lacquerware shop. They glitter so nicely. Cat chopstick rest hold on to the chopsticks. There for restaurant businesses. Rice bowls are used very often in Japan. Only a few people live without eating rice in Japan. This is a dish cave. Tea ceremony bowl. This cooking knife shop looks very old. This one is for cutting tatami mats. 
this katana with the swordsmith's name was made 150 years ago. The next one dates back to the 1400s. 580,000 yen or 4500 USD? Musket from the samurai period. Osaka was one of the best musket producers in Japan. Japanese swordsmiths were also good at making the most recent technology. Hakuma Whetstone is 250,000 yen or 1800 USD. 1 million yen katana from the 1500s. It comes with a certificate that proves it's a famous swordsmith's work. A sashimi knife is 4,000 USD. Red lanterns is a must item for an izakaya drinking place. This sign is 1000 USD. It's more expensive than I thought. This one has a retro feel, a bit cheaper than that. This is a one-stop shop for people opening up their own restaurant. You can make a hot pot 30% better than using ordinary pots. This is a takoyaki octopus ball griller. The price is not open. This is a smaller one which costs 18,000 yen. You can start your own business just with this small machine. Hammers to pound rice cake. This is for akashiyaki octopus ball. Copper is used to akashiyaki because it transmits heat faster than iron. Taiyaki iron molds to grease the batter with sweet red beans paste inside. Soy sauce plate is a must item for every household in Japan. It's a good price. Sake cup. I don't know, this one is for what? You can get a real feel of each knife in this place. I like this display. You don't have to ask staff every time you want to check the items. I think I'm a bit too large to get in there. I might break some. These chopsticks can make good souvenirs. You can grab anything like meat, beef, and vegetables on the plate at home. This is for making Korean hot pot. This is an individual stuff for Korean barbecue. I don't think it's used in South Korea. Only pricey restaurants use bamboo chopsticks. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.